Hey everyone and welcome back to another of my YouTube video. I actually forgot to do the intro to this video and the um, outro to the last video. So I'm doing it now. So the wiring is already in. So the wiring comes underneath the floor, through the um, thing here, over the transmission tunnel, and to the back just here. Don't know if you see that wire. That's for the relay. But yeah, so heat, actually seat connector here, heat connector here, all come through. Right, so this is a left hand drive, technically, wiring loom. So I am basically modifying it to fit this car. That's where we go. So the main loom itself will fit. Got the two seat connectors here and here, which I need to come up a bit more over this way. If I actually could pull them over more. Put it on just lovely, like that. Okay, lift that on, and lift that on. So they should uh, ideally, they should fit just fine along here, next to the transmission. Um, I'll be quick shift now. So now we're in it, so this will be like a, a good experiment, obviously, for me to see if that will actually, if a left-hand drive loom will fit a right-hand drive car. Which I think it will do, but like, we'll, we'll need a bit of modification. Which is not just from a left-hand drive car, it's all from, from a diesel, and again, and they're wired a bit differently, I believe. Okay, so that's perfect. We are now um, carpet free in the car. So I did cheat a little bit. <laughs> um, basically, that I did the speeder cable the other day. That would be a different video. Anyway, so I did the speeder cable the other day, and I think you've got to take the wiper mechanism out. Well, you don't have to, but it's so much easier if you do. So I took the wiper mechanism out, and obviously that left a lot of room to run the wiring through the bulkhead of the car. So I took my chances to run the power wires through the bulkhead then, not plugged in yet, so I'll still show you how I'm going to do that. But what I've, I've done is run them through the bulkhead, so it makes it life much easier since I had the space there to do it. So, okay, so, look down here, the wiring's already in place. Now, the problem is when I rushed ahead of doing that, that may have made it really hard for me, because the wiring's going to be quite thick to get through here now. The relay I can take off. That's a no issue. Okay, oh, she's got a room. And he's had a release mix. Push it in. Yep, release that there, push it in. Right, no, that's just me. It's uh, still going to be quite hard to get this in. Right, let's start with the big cable first. Big old head on it. Yeah, it's going to be really hard now. I've done it wrong, really. Right, my pain and misery is still not over yet. I still need to pull the knee through. Now, obviously, as you can tell, I have a uh, evil left wing. Okay, so hopefully, you can go through it easily. Oh, I wish I realised what I was doing when I, before I did it all. I've got to save all this hassle.
button, good news. Oh, our wires are through. Perfect. Now through. Now to re plumb me through. I think I want my central locking to work. One at a time then. Give me a bit of pain. Yeah, let me go here. Put more on one side. Good. Reconnect them up. I'm gonna get a cloth with at least decided to drink from that pool. I'm gonna go wash my hands at the same time. Right, we got on with getting connection this one here, right? Yep. I don't think we need my fucking pump drinking wax oil. Right, not gonna get the rest of that. Not much in here now. Good. Get these back in. Two, and we're some three. Right here. Oh, I've done. Hmm. Right, five. Yeah, one. There we go. Three. One, two, three. And we can whack the wood again. You can see the earth point just behind here, and this is an earth point for um, the heat room. So I need to undo one of them bolts, they should matter which one, and put this on there and uh, re tighten them up, and then this room will be earthed. So I bolted the relay box in now, so that's actually bolted in in there. Um, I've seen there's two holes in there for it to be in way, but I think originally they probably should be like some like rubber mounts to stop it vibrating, but. All I've done, I found two bolts the same length, two nuts of the same, and two washers to put through on the carpet side. So this side here, they've got two bolts. I would show you, but um, two washers, sorry, but I'm not moving the carpet just to disturb that again. So now let's all back together. The back seat can take the can take the, the go back in now and tidy this up. First, actually, first I need to do this little bit of trim along here, but yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so I skip forward a little bit again. Of the time getting on, and um, I want I just wanted to progress in getting the car done. I mean, all you would have seen me do is a bit, a bit of soldering and rooting wise, which isn't really that interesting. But I would like to say quickly do not copy what I do in this video when it comes to ele electronics or anything else, as these videos are purely for entertainment entertainment purposes only. So if you do copy anything and it, when it goes wrong or anything in general and it goes wrong. That is purely at your own risk and not mine. So I've extended this wire here. This is the wire that goes to um this is for the illumination. It's a, it's also a little like, terminus on top here for illumination. So once again I like the like, thing for watching. If you haven't really please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. So once again it's been on a drive and I'll see you in my next video.